Hey, Snake Nose back. Yeah, we're back with a mouse. Yeah, this is Zubuntu 14.04 Beta 2. It's still a beta, but it's the final one before the release candidate or the release, really, because there's only about 20 odd days, is there? Not long to go. Anyway, remember, this is going to be an LTS for Zubuntu. Super fan, cool, super duper. Nice, love it. Now, you'll notice a few things different. The screen's a bit brighter for a start. The icons are a lot nicer and stand out more for a start. On your top panel, remember there are panels here. We only have time and date, mail, my ethernet connection, my keyboard, okay? There is no exit from the top at the moment. Remember, you can put it in yourself if you wanted to, okay? This is basically what it's going to look like when you get it. Now, remember we used to have panel number two, didn't we? That used to auto-hide itself. Oh my god, it's gone. You know what, I am actually glad, because I always used to remove it myself anyway and put a different one on, because it was the... It just didn't fit. It was a bit old-fashioned, if you know what I mean. Yeah, old-fashioned. It was, it was way 2011, wasn't it? You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, of course you do. Anyway, apart from that, was, oh, installed, by the way. It's not a live CD. Yeah, installed. Unfortunately. Anyway, anyway we go down. And we have fa favourites. We get favourites, but I'm not going to go through them. Then you got recently used, and we get all. So let's go through all. What should we go through? The, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll go through accessories first. Okay. Usual stuff. Archive Manager, Calculator, Catfish, File Search, The Character Map, File Manager, Mousepad, Notes, Onboard Keyboard, Orange, Take a Screenshot, The Terminal Emulator, and XF Burn. All you really need there, really. Then we have Mines and Sudoku for the few games you're going to get on here. Okay, And the graphics. You get a PDF Document Viewer, and Gimpage. Should we open Gimpage up? Might as well. See if it works. Oh, that looks quite, doesn't it? And it's 2.8, by the way. A little drinkage right here. Of water, mm -mm, nice. I've got plenty here in the UK. Lots of water. So much water. We've got water. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Nice. Sort of wet that was. Hello, Gimpy is loading up for us. Remember, I'm recording at the same time, so don't expect it to be super fast, super duper. But yeah, look. Even this all looks nice, doesn't it? Under this new icon. So, oh, I like that. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, that's good. I like that. See you later, Gimpy. It was nice knowing you. Anyway, what else under graphics? Restrato and Simple Scan, which you're going to need. But under internet, we have Firefox for your web browsing, Pigeon, 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 Chunderbird, mm, Transmission, and XChat. Under Mold Multimedia, they're sticking with G Music Browser this time and Parole. Parole is fine, does what it says. Pulse is also here and XF Burn. That's all you're burning. Mm. Under Office, we get Abbey Word and G Numeric. If you want LibreOffice or any others, go and get it yourself. And the system, we have a Gigolo, Gigolo, I'm neurotic, and Synaptic Package Manager. Now, Synaptic Package Manager, I've installed myself for certain reasons, okay? I just need to make sure everything worked properly, and we've got a Task Manager there as well, okay? So that's all hunky dory, isn't it? So we'll go to the internet section, and we'll go to the Fox, okay? And we'll wait for Foxy Foxy on the run to load up for us. Yeah. Rather nice and quick, wouldn't it? We're going to go over to the Bubba Make sure it all renders nice, and it's going to, isn't it, really? It is really going to, so I'm not too worried about it, to be really honest with you. Yeah, look. It says what it does on the tin, and does what it says on the tin. Mm -mm. Pollution to spread across England. Yeah, it was awful here, isn't it? I thought my lungs were giving up. But hey, never mind. Yeah, so it all renders all nice and good. I've not installed the restricted extras just yet. I've only just installed this again. And it's only again for it. Yeah, long story, but there. Yeah. So anyway works nice. Now what I've done here, I've bookmarked the Zubuntu 404 page for you. This is where you can get the final beta from if you want to. Now, there's some things that don't work as I put here. Thunar doesn't automatically mount removal devices and media. Well, we had that trouble a while ago, didn't we? Not the last release, the re release before. Network shares, we had that problem too. Wallpaper selection dialog empty. Well it's only a beta so I'm not too worried about that. Installed keyboard changes after boot. No, I've not had that yet. Mm. I've booted it seven times, okay? So that's all right by me. Yeah. Mm. So, what do you do now you ain't got your bar, okay? You got no bar. Because I mean, I like a little quick launch bar. Now you can use some quick launch programs, or you can put Docky or Cairo Doc. Can we get them? I hear you ask. So if we go to the Software Center, it's still called the Ubuntu Software Center. Why don't you just change that to the Zubuntu Software Center? It'd be nice, wouldn't it? We are all sponsored. So if we put in, should we say Docky? And in theory, should we go? Yeah, we go. And there's me Doc. 
Now we can install that if you want. Should we join and install it? Should you want? Yeah. So we get a while as well, because it's only going to be a short video because I've done the betas and alphas before, haven't I? And you basically know what it's going to look like. So we're going to install that for you in the beta just to see if it works. And obviously, if I don't do this video anymore, you know it didn't work very well. Oh, it wants me password. I should have a better drink now. There we go. Off it goes. And it shouldn't be too long anyway, because it's not that large, really, is it? Yeah. Hmm. Very watery. Oh, it's so wet here. We should start exporting water now, I think. Got enough of it. Yeah. Anyway, we're just waiting for Ducky to download and install for us, which shouldn't take too long whatsoever, ever, ever, ever. It's going to take ages now, I've said that, innit? Yeah, woe be time me. We've still got progress going up there, though. Anyway, what do you think of the look of it so far? I think it looks rather smart, especially the icons. They make it look a more modern feel, whereas the last release didn't do it. Maybe it was wallpaper, I don't know. But everything looks a bit more smart. Smart, you know. Boot and ties and all that, you know looks a lot better in my personal opinion now i'll be using 1404 lts ubuntu when it's released anyway i use it for my main workhorse uh, i changed the debian for a little while back because i was having trouble with certain machines uh it was all right yeah but you know ubuntu does what it says on my tin and i like it i don't care if you don't like it because i'm using it but that's the whole point of linux isn't it you can do whatever you want and have it look however you want it's up to you. You don't just have to go with a standard set of how it looks and how, what it does. You can do it if you want. Obviously, if you buy a proprietary operating system, you've not got too much leeway there, have you? Unless you really, really, really want to dig around. I remember, remember really going back a long time ago when some of you weren't even born. I had a, a Redmond operating system, and it wasn't XP either, no. And there were some things called window blinds and stuff like that. But it was such a palaver to get anything done. I know. It, no, it was. Palava, 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 palava. Took bleeding ages to get anything done. Then when you did do it, it was all right, you know, but hey. And then I, I come over to the, the white side, so they say. Yeah. Anyway, we're nearly installed now. Oh, two what else I did, I did show you. Look, there's no windows here, you know, no workspaces. But before you got them as standard. So, as you've been to, Tim, you might want to put a couple in there as standard, you know. Yes, I know we all know how to do it, but say somebody new, you know, somebody new, whose XP box has just gone, and they found um, Zubuntu, and they thought, well, I could give it a go because it's not too difficult. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know what I mean. It'd make it easier for them so they could see they've got workspaces going down. But apart from that, it should be easy peasy. Remember, we can put this panel down on the bottom if we really wanted to, to make it really easy, but do we really want to? I don't think so. But in theory, that should be installed now. So should we see what it looks like? Let me get rid of that. And we'll go up to our Whisker menu. Whisker. Should call it Kitten or something, shouldn't they, really? Now, where would that be? Let's have a look. Yeah, we go to All. And then there's Docky. Let's have a look, see what happens when we click on the Docky. Just to see if it works. And Docky arrives. Look at that. Lovely jubbly. Now, also, I've got no uh, proprietary drivers here, so it's going to be a bit jerky, you know. But there are some settings you can change within Docky if you wanted to. You could even put it over there on the corner over here, couldn't you, if you wanted to. So, yeah. Zoom on to 4.04. Beta 2, the LTS. Yeah. I'm liking it. Now, it's only a beta, so you know I don't rate beta, so don't ask me to. But on the whole, I really, really like it. It's looking good to me. Thank you very much. Sneaky Linux gang out. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.